What's up guys, how's it going? This is more of a serious talk, you know, more than usual, you know? You know, usually I, I go around, you know, joking about stuff and just messing around, whatever, but, you know, today's more of a serious one, as you can see, you know, on the screen already. Today we're gonna be talking about, well, the Rust movie, you know, which, if uh, most of you might know already that, well, a few days ago, well, we had, well, there was an accident, a tragedy, in this, on, during the filming of the, of the movie. <clears throat> and well, you know, I wanted to talk about it and, you know, just discuss some things. So, here's what happened. So, the, during the filming of the Rust movie, you know, there was supposed to be, well, well you know, the, there was a gun, which I don't know why they call it a prop gun here, because if it can fire, it's a gun, but I don't know. You know, in many movies, they use guns, all right? However, in this one, I don't know if it was, if the bullet that was supposed, you know, to be fired was, it should have been a blank round, which means that, you know, it's just... It's just fire a fireball that comes out, but you know, not like actual projectile. Or if it was supposed to be completely cold, which means that the, that not even a blank round should have been there. There was an actual round, like a pro, an actual you know bullet in it. Not even a blank round, like an actual bullet. And Alec Baldwin, you know, like shooting that gun and ac and accidentally killing well the cinematographer Helena Hutchins. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. I'm not that good at pronouncing names. And well, they. Injuring the, the director with that bullet. So here's the thing. I'm not gonna say anything about, you know, not, no, don't aim weapons at anyone else. Because, you know, like I said, it's a it's a movie. That's kind of difficult to do. So no, I'm not gonna get into that part. No, but I still wanna start how how this thing just happens, alright? Because, well, here's the thing. It's just, it's, this was, you know, this wasn't just a regular negligent discharge. This has happened many times before, unfortunately, in movies. However, this wasn't only that. But it's more to this. So apparently, in the whole, you know, set of the movie, there, there was a lot of problems with safety. Including, you know, previous cases with gun safety in the same movie. Apparently, you know, many times before, many scenes, you know, shooting, shooting scenes, the gun was supposed to be cold, which means that no bullets, no actual bullets, no blank rounds either, alright? Nothing. You, right, you press the trigger and nothing comes out. But, you know, you add that effect post-production. -pro post However, what ended up happening is that instead of, you know, the, the gun actually not doing anything, there were blank rounds in it. And, I mean, sure, it was a blank round. Nobody got, like, actual pro a projectile in them. However, keep in mind that a blank round is basically a regular round, it, you know, with, all, with everything in it, with, you know, powder and everything in it, it's still in a metal casing, except that there's, like, no actual, like, bullet, no, no actual no actual projectile on no, on, the, on the tip that will come out. It usually looks like something, well, this is a shotgun round, but, you know, it's a regular round. It has a, like, a paper thing on, on top of it, you know, so when you fire it, powder comes out, fireball comes out, nose comes out, everything, as a usual weapon, but no projectile. This is an actual round, though. Or, you know, just rifles anything in regular rounds, not just not shotgun rounds. It can look like this, you know, with like a, like a tape, like a, like a paper, you know, thingy on it. Or just like a regular round, except that it will have like a, like a, like a flower shape, you know, on the tip. Just so you know that it's, you know, a blank round. I don't know who was in charge, who was the armor in charge of these, of the weapons in the set. But they did a horrible job. This was not, like I told you before, this, there were many accidents of, you know, a weapon that was supposed to be called, not being, not being called. And it happened like, what, three, two, two or three times, I think it said there? How? Like, after the third shot, after the third, you know, negligent discharge, even if there were blank rounds, why would you just, you know, not take safety more seriously? And this was safety in this set was almost non-existent. Like, before this shooting happened, like, a big number of the people that were working there, were actually on strike because of the safety of, of the place. The whole movie was being rushed. They, they also didn't want to spend that much money on it. So instead, what they did is they threw, you know, safety out of the window. And, well, they started replacing, you know, union workers with non-union workers in order to not have to worry about safety. I don't know how that is not illegal, but hey. A lot of people, you know, were blaming, you know, well, Alec for, you know, for the shooting because, you know, he was the one that opened fire. Well... I don't, I'm not gonna blame him, because, well, even, sure, technically, you know, if you have a weapon, even if it is, you know, a weapon that has a blank round, maybe you should check 
However, I'm not gonna hold it against him, you know, he's just a movie actor, he maybe has no idea about guns, or even if he does, you know, at the end of the day, you should, you should, know, you should be able to trust the armor in the set. That's the thing, and a lot of people will say, you know, how do you shoot at two people, you know, how do you, you know, shoot one person and then shoot another one, you know, without noticing that you fired an actual round, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, alright, as far as I know, it was only one bullet, you know, one bullet is more than enough to hurt, to, to hurt multiple people. You know, like I said, unfortunately, one of them died, the other one, you know, got hurt first, only hit Hutchins, which is, you know, the person that killed, and then that bullet continued, went through and hit the director. And look at that, alright, it was handed that the weapon by an assistant director who indicated it was safe to use. Now, sure, it was an assistant director, meaning he was not the one actually in charge of the weapon, of the safety, he was just the one, you know, that was supposed, you know, to give the weapon to him. So, how is it that after, like, I, I just still don't understand, look, I'm someone, alright, I like guns, well, I love guns, honestly, or I, I've had a lot of fun with guns, you know, I've grown up, you know, seeing guns, I have guns in my house, and yet, you know, I... Even though I know that, you know, they are fun to shoot and all of that, I still took a, take guns seriously. How is it that, you know, you, that people, you know, that an armorer that is supposed to, you know, be knowledgeable about guns does not take gun safety seriously, you know, because especially when you're giving that gun to someone else, like if you had it yourself, okay, I could get, I could maybe understand, you know, how you are, maybe, you know, you just got too comfortable and you didn't, you know, do every, all of the checks that you're supposed to do, well, it's still bad, you know, I will still, you know, there will still be, like, a reason for it. Here, you know, you're handling, you're giving a gun to, to another person. How do you not check that the gun, you know, is safe before giving it to someone else that has no idea about guns? That's the thing that gets me, you know, angry the most, because I actually hate it when people don't take gun safety seriously. Like, even if it was supposed to be, you know, an, a cold gun, or a gun that just had blanks in it, you can still hurt people. Even with blank rounds, you can still hurt people, because there's still a fireball coming out, and if there is anything inside that weapon, it's also gonna come out too. If there's any kind of, you know, just rock inside of that barrel, it's gonna come out too, you know, because of the explosion. Even blank rounds can still be, you know, well, deadly, but they can also, you know, they can still hurt people. No matter what, even if it was cold, you should always check, you know, make sure that the gun, you know, it's safe to fucking use. So, it just get, it just annoys the crap out of me. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I guess this is all, there's still a big investigation going over, go over it. These are mostly, you know, just testimonies, you know, from, well, from things that we knew, or just tes testimonies, you know, from people, from workers there. It took, like, three, you know, negligent discharges. And the armor didn't do shit about it. They still did. They still did not care about safety, you know. And it took a fourth, you know, round, which unfortunately was an actual live round, that ended up killing a person. But yeah, that's when yeah, I, I, I just I know the crap out of me, and I just want I, I don't know, just annoy the crap out of me, and I just wanted to talk about it. So yeah, that's it. <sighs> Take gun safety seriously. All right, they're they're dangerous, all right, they're, sorry. they're lethal, they can easily, you can easily kill someone if you don't take gun safety seriously, even if you're an expert, even if you know a lot about guns, even if you handle, handle guns on the daily, you should still take gun safety, you know, seriously, especially if you're giving that gun to someone else, someone that might not be as experienced or, or who maybe have not, not even ever fired an actual gun before, especially in those cases, all right, just take gun safety seriously because otherwise things like that happen things like this happen and i still don't know how <clears throat> movies you know on sets can be this dangerous and you know these many bad things chaos you know just going in the sets without like actual you know crimes you know we we go we all police getting involved in it yeah that's pretty much it and well <clears throat> i don't know why i can barely talk today but that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and well i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.